Hi, it's Deb from Deb's Days. It's Tutorial Tuesday, and I've got another project for you today. Before I get started, I publish new content frequently, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out the blog at debsdays.com. You'll find free sewing and crafting patterns and links to even more sewing and crafting tutorials. If you're a cruiser, I've got you covered there too. Check out my cruising resources section. You'll find cruise tips, trip reports, port and ship specific articles, and plenty of photos. Now let's get this project started. For this project, you will need string, twine, yarn. I'm using cotton crochet thread. You'll need some white glue, some water, a sponge brush, possibly, if you'd like, a balloon, a shallow bowl, cellophane wrap to protect that shallow bowl. If you're using a plastic disposable bowl, you won't need this. And then something to protect your work surface. The balloon I'm using is a round one. Go ahead and blow that balloon up. You can decide what size you'd like to blow it up. I purchased these round balloons because I want it perfectly round. If you wanted something more oblong, you would purchase different balloons. This is the size I'm going to go for, so I'm going to go ahead and tie this off. All right, so I have my balloon. I'm going to go ahead and protect my bowl. I've gone ahead and covered my bowl. I don't have any cellophane, but I have a product similar. Now I need to grab my glue, and I'm going to put a glob in. Now it's up to you what you want a glob to be. I think I'm going to start with that. Now you're going to add some water to it. You can add start with half and half if you'd like, or uh, two parts glue to one part water. I like the thicker glue. It holds its shape better. All right, I like how that is. Now I'm going to use this cotton crochet thread. Okay, this is going to get a little messy, so that's why we've protected our work surface here. I'm going to first just paint a little bit of this on, just real quick, so I can get my string started. Now you could paint this whole thing if you wanted, but I found I don't need to because I'm actually going to dip this whole thing into this glue mixture. That's why I have a shallow bowl. But go ahead and just start wrapping your balloon randomly. I've done pretty good at covering it. I have a few spots left. I'm going to go ahead and get that finished off. All right, I like how that looks. I'm going to go ahead and clip this. I'm going to use my glue to tack it down. Now I could take the brush and brush all this down, but what I found works better is just to roll this in the glue mixture. I'm not big on mess, so this seems to be a less messy way to make it happen. If you find your glue's too thick, guess what? Just add a little more water to it. If it's too thin, add a little bit more glue to it as you're rolling it around. Like I said, I like my glue a little bit thicker because it makes the ball a little bit sturdier. When you have that pretty well covered, now you're going to want to let that dry. What I usually do is actually just leave it in the bowl so it just drains back in here. And then every couple hours I come back and I turn it so it doesn't stick to any one side. If you'd rather, you can also just stick it in a, your cup of water, as long as it's plastic, and let it drip into there. I still would come back and turn it ever so often so it doesn't stick to the cup. All right, when that's dry, I'll be on back. All right, we don't need to do anything else with that if we don't want to. You can use them as a little collection in a bowl of different colors if you want to. Uh, you can make it into a Christmas ornament. You can use it as window decor. I'm going to actually um, put it on a tree later. Well, not later, but at Christmas, I should say. So I'm just going to tie some more of the same cotton crochet thread to hang it. You could also just put a hook in it if you want, and there we have a snowball ornament or something for our window, or like I said, you could just put a, several of them in a bowl.
If you'd like to see more projects like this one, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and stop by the blog at debsdays.com. You'll find free patterns, supply lists, and links to even more sewing and crafting tutorials. See you next week with another project. Bye.